That's right. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, and happy birthday to this one right here. Yeah. To you too. Thank you. Yeah, and a beautiful oh, day for your birthday. But on that note, as yeah. temperatures rise across the country, our furry friends are in dire need of relief. And here with yeah. some important information and how you can help the animals in your local shelters is pet rescue. Yeah. The, you know what? Is the birthday girl Larissa? <laughs> right. She's more Thank of a pet you. saint. Thank you. Well, just Larissa. like we would need to get an ice cream cake today, right? Because it is so hot. Yeah. The animals are really, Poor really guys. having a hard time. You sure. can imagine we're standing out here for all of maybe six minutes, and it's, and it's uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. So imagine being in a shelter like these poor babies. Oh my this goodness! Here in LA, I mean, they're just trying to get some relief on the concrete. The concrete. Wearing hot. a fur coat. The, they've got a fur coat. Some of them are in there for days, months, years, and it's just so Aww, unfair. Yes. It's so unfair really? and it's Aww. heartbreaking. And so thank goodness a lot of people helped out the last couple of weeks because we got a huge heat wave here in L.A. that we weren't prepared for. Which crazy, seems no? like it's still underway, it's still to be honest yeah, It hasn't you. like exactly cooled no. off a whole no, lot. But, yeah. No, and it's only the beginning of July. So yeah. we've got a way, ways to go. Right. So um, we've been doing but, a lot. Yeah, I know you spent the last few weekends really going to shelters and helping out quite a bit. You learned some very valuable ways that everyone can get involved and help yes, out, right? Yes, because it is so hot and shelters are a weird system, you know, that you can't just necessarily drop stuff off. You want to make sure that they can take in what you're bringing. So call ahead. That's the first thing. Make sure that you can bring some treats or some yummies for the dogs. Okay. The second thing is... This right here is the best invention in the world. This is a Kong. I know you know about this. I do, I do. My dog loves them. My dog yes. loves them. They come in red and black. The black ones are actually even tougher. They're in almost indestructible. Dogs can chew through them, but they're pretty indestructible. What you can do with Kongs and why they're so great is they have holes right here on this side. You can put little treat at the bottom so it kind of covers up that little hole so nothing leaks through yeah. Yeah. and then you can fill oh, it wow. with yummy stuff so i've been using plain yogurt and pumpkin not pumpkin pie filling with sugar flat out basic pumpkin no sugar added thank you to some amazing viewers who actually helped donate a lot of kongs That's that i was awesome. able to do and then you froze way. them and yes and so then they go in the freezer right yes our boss's daughter was here we filled them all up we put them in the freezer for hours <laughs> let them Look sit at that. for a, a night or two and then we brought them to the dogs this weekend and i just want to show you some video of bringing them into the kennels Aww. because the dogs they must have like absolutely lost love. their minds not only is it a cold treat because it's frozen it takes time to unfreeze, so Look it them. gives them something to do. It's a play toy. It helps stimulate them mentally Look at the and husky. physically. Aww. You could just see these dogs have nothing. I mean, and they're the in the kennels, right? It, and they have, they have, they're so entertained with these yeah. plus the cool dogs. Entertained and cool. I mean, imagine getting a popsicle on a day when it's 120 yeah. and, and you have nothing else. And That's the square what footage is. of that area, those are big dogs and they need to run. I mean, imagine how bored they are. Yes, of course. yes. So oh Kongs are a amazing. One. Please reach out to Kong, get some Kongs, donate them to your shelter, whatever it takes. That's a great idea. The second Larissa. thing is ice. Obviously, who doesn't like ice on a hot day? By the way, since we started here, you've barely let go of this I, ice it, block. Right? I know. It feels <laughs> you know, so good. Like you've been hanging good. on this ice yeah. It feels so good. I brought in some ice cubes to shelters around the area. And then also a woman named Debbie Bloom who runs a purposeful rescue or works with them. They won the American Rescue Dog Challenge. She got wow. 6,000 oh, pounds wonderful. of ice Thank donated. you, Debbie. Yeah. That's LA awesome. Thank you. Them all week. So That's ice incredible. cubes are great. Ice blocks are great because they take longer. To so melt. So the dogs can chomp on them, suck at them, I whatever it. it takes. Yep. And they are excellent. You can see these little puppies enjoying their ice cubes in the Aww. bowl. Most shelters, if you bring this stuff over, they are happy to use it. Oh, and look at that. And put it to use because it makes such a difference. A lot of ice houses you can contact are donating these right now because they know the need is so great. So contact oh, your fantastic. local ice house and market see if they can help donate anything and then okay we got the kitty uh, pool. pool yeah these are amazing because I mean, dogs love water and doggy shelters most of them i should say have areas where they take the dogs out to socialize you can see this was <laughs> and the dogs absolutely love getting oh, kitty pools 
and you can fill it with ice if you need. Sure. It's just an easy toy that they get a lot of enjoyment out of, and right now they're like $10. They're not expensive. That's the other thing. It's great. Right. Don't get Don't the, get the blow-up ones, The blow-up ones can puncture easily, so this kind of harder plastic is where it's at. And I'd like the ice block in the Inside. water. Otherwise, this water will get warm so, really, really quickly. It'll be like Absolutely. a sauna. Absolutely. And if your so, shelter doesn't yet use put it these, in. bring it up to them as an idea because it's really helpful. Now, I know we discussed, <laughs> like, that's really a great idea. We discussed the fact that a lot of these shelters don't have air conditioning. Air conditioning is very expensive, even if they did have air conditioning because of the heat wave, a lot of the electricity went out all over the place. Yes. So I imagine fans are a huge importance huge, for these. Huge, huge. West Valley here in LA, actually, the breaker broke and all everything spoiled. So can't even imagine. It's yeah. really sad right now. So one thing you can do is donate an industrial fan. Now I know they're expensive. Right. This is not a cheap $10 thing. They can be a couple hundred dollars. So what I recommend is if people want to help out, get your workplace involved. Right. $5 that's so nice. everybody oh, or your block. Idea. Put out some flyers, post on Facebook and get a group of people together to donate five or 10 bucks. These can be bought at Home Depot, Lowe's, all of the different yeah, places. I love that. And it's a wonderful way to help. If you that. explain to the people at your workplace or whoever what uh, you're raising yeah. money for, people will dive in and donate for sure for something as great as this. I mean, honestly, yes. I don't get it. a coffee one day and be able to help save a dog's life. For and real. It's just one coffee. Years and are such a, an important aspect to these kennels and these dogs. Little, All good. fantastic points. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Happy you. birthday. Thank Thank you. You. Oh my God, I already forgot. <laughs> I was already moving on. It's because of the heat. Jeez, it's because of the heat. Happy birthday. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a birthday gift to all these animals out there. Let me tell you that right now. Make sure you go to SavedByTheL.com to see all of these tips and all of the adoptable animals that we showcase each and every day. It's great stuff. And you all stick around because next up, parenting expert Donna Tatro is here to help us prepare and help our kids prepare for Christmas. Right, Donna? Christmas is a time where kids are always thinking about what they're about to get, but how can we teach them to give? I've got some strategies for you coming up.